What is up my viewers? Spang here bringing you another World of Tanks gameplay commentary on a vehicle I don't believe I've done before. This was a replay sent in from Coleslaw30, part of <laughs> United Forces Tank Squadron or something of that sort. The clan that I believe was formerly STFU, but Wargaming told them, hey, you can't have that name. And they said, okay, well, let me UFTS. So they kind of uh, gave the middle finger. Fingal? What? Middle finger to Wargaming, but what can you do? I mean, they're still uh, within their rights to be named that. That's not an offensive abbreviation in any sorts. Now, the ISU-152 is a very potent weapon right now with the BL-10. This gun packs a punch. It is basically a powerhouse. It has the, yeah, 286 penetration, 750 average damage. It is basically a tier 9 or even potentially a tier 10 tank destroyer, uh, it, depending on the tier 10 tank destroyer, without as fast of a reload. I mean, granted, it's it's got its strengths and weaknesses, but it does hurt to be hit by it. And clearly, you don't want to be hit by this gun if you can avoid it. Now, he's doing something a little odd here, not using any sort of bushes or anything for cover, which there are plenty abound everywhere. So, hiding behind this train car, I understand why he's doing that. He's using the train car for cover from shells. It will protect him from getting shot, but... Unfortunately, it won't stop him from getting spotted. He has camo net, he has camo paint. I just don't know why he isn't using the bushes to his advantage as well. I mean, sure, it won't give him line of fire of both sides of the train tracks, but at the same time, the enemy team's gonna be so far in the one and two line that he won't be able to see them until they're really close. He previously said earlier, too many of our forces going right. Uh, yeah, probably. You have four medium tanks on the hill, four heavy tanks in the town, one heavy tank sitting right in front of him, and a heavy tank kind of going up that five line. Not really sure what that M6 is doing, but it's not a big deal. The M6 is pretty much useless in a tier 8 match. Let's face facts, people. And his team only having two heavy tanks, a tank destroyer, and a medium tank in the 1-2 area. So let's hope the enemy team really hasn't sent that much that way. Ooh, Tiger 2 getting destroyed by a low. Tiger 2 clearly pushing way too far up. And that other heavy tank falling back. That medium tank on the hill, uh, not really in a good position. Probably going to get himself eliminated rather quickly if Coleslaw's team decides to push. Heavy tank right on that little island area. Trying his best to give fire support to the two medium tanks that are trying on that little approach to the hill. U.S. Uh, Coleslaw saying, need more tanks on the left, people. Yes, you do. And he is being a good teammate. He's going to support. Now, the other TD over here is a T25-2. Uh, I'm just going to call it the T25. If you know what the other T25 is, I refer to it as the T25-AT. It's easier than saying the T25-2. So I'm just going to refer to, yeah, I've said it. You get it. Let's continue with this. He's got a peace sign and some Russian words on his tank, which I have no idea what they mean because I don't speak Russian. And, yeah, no Russian. Remember, yeah, that was a horrible mission. If you disagree with me, too bad, so sad. Shut up. Uh, this enemy Tiger 2 clearly pushing up. Tiger P, a Panther 2, and a T25. Clearly no match for that, especially considering there's a low backing that Tiger 2 up. And here we go. I'm going to assume Coleslaw has 6 cents, which means he has not been spotted yet. That Tiger P getting eliminated. Unfortunately, Coleslaw's shell hitting for no damage. I do believe they said they fixed that little glitch. Uh, th it's... It was likely a critical hit, but they did kind of acknowledge in the 8.4 patch notes that no shots did exist. <laughs> that was an interesting little thing he did there. He aimed, held the right trigger, and then fired while looking around. I have to say, I don't really do that all too often. This IS, this SU-152, huge, huge difference. Kind of moving up. Did basically hitting that Tiger 2 for a devastating blow, making that Tiger 2 a little less of a threat. But the enemy team doing a very, very strong push over on this left side. The reload speed of the ISU-152 coming into effect now, making him not as effective at dealing with large numbers. He's more of a one-on-one, -on -one, one-shot wonder kind of tank. But the enemy team not really able to do anything. The reload fast enough to eliminate that Tiger 2. The SU-152 probably going to follow very shortly here. Complete overkill inbound right there. Bam! Him. This, uh, what is that? It looks like a T25. I cannot tell if it is an AT or just the 25 slash 2 because the enemy team has both. But regardless, the enemy team is pushing quite a bit. And yes, he has been spotted, telling his teammates to target the IS, firing at the IS's last known location. That Type 58, not really a large threat, but still, it has eliminated the enemy team. 
neither team, if you haven't noticed yet, I failed to mention it earlier, neither team has artillery. So that is something to take into account. And that shell being fired at, clearly being fired at Coleslaw's last known position. 25, right there, probably gonna die in one hit. Bam! Called it. Now that is towards the high end of his damage. That wasn't his max damage roll. Well, it was, I can't say that with certainty. Let's face facts. The, he did 850 damage, but it's possible his shell would have done more if the tank had more health. But that was not the case. It was a one shot, one kill. That T25 clearly thinking he was fine, and then he's like, oh, maybe not so much. Now Coleslaw is up to three kills, and <laughs> the T25 on his team saying, I thought we were screwed, and you would have been had it not been for Coleslaw. That, uh, for some reason... Saying the T25-2 on the other team reported, and Coleslaw saying not with this gun. It's clearly, he knows the value of the BL-10 as well. And right now, a little bit of confusion going on in the chat, wondering why that other T25-2 was reported. You know, trying to clear up some things. The enemy team having two heavy tanks left on the right side. This is still anyone's match. It is 9-8, to eight, and really, it's, in my opinion, it's 8-8. Eight to eight. That, that M6 on Coleslaw's team, kind of useless. I mean, okay, that's being a bit harsh. The M6 can still be valuable. He can capture, he can flank, he can be a distraction. So he still has value, but it is definitely in a limited capacity. So we'll see exactly how things unfold here. Nine to nine, like I said, still anyone's game at this point, but we'll see how exactly Coleslaw does. They still have that awesome BL-10, and the enemy team should be afraid of that. The enemy team clearly leaving their capture point more or less unguarded, except for that heavy tank up on the tracks we'll see exactly what he can do to stop that now he's saying you're up on a hill downside blah 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 um so apparently the t25-2 on the enemy team thinking the t25-2 on coleslaw's team is cheating hacking of some sort saying there was no way that uh the t25 on coleslaw's team could have shot him and they're just trying to clear up that confusion i don't really care anymore to be honest tiger at and kv4 all rushing back to base kind of an all in from the enemy at this point leaving the center wide open but that tiger full well not quite full health that t25 at is at full health and now he's not now he is a one shot for anyone the panther 2 finishing him off debris flying all over the air that is6 quite intimidating same with the kv4 but both of them Clearly not aware of the ISU's BL-10 centered in the map. Oh, oh, that IS-6 getting just absolutely decimated. And, uh, so, again, lots of chat going on. People throwing insults back and forth, calling people hackers, and people raging. It's gonna happen. <laughs> One of the guys saying, WTF is going on here. Why the rage? And he's asking his team for Top Gun, please. You know, we'll see if his teammates oblige. Because, honestly, if I was on his team, I'd say, yeah, sure, you're at four kills. But that Panther 2 probably has his sights on Top Gun as well. And right here, the Panther 2 kind of saying, ha, ha, ha. Uh, I'm not sure what he's laughing at. He might be laughing at the Top Gun comment, but we'll see. This KB4 now is more likely than not. Yeah, he's a definite one shot at this point, and he is no longer aiming at the center. So Coleslaw feels confident enough to move up, and he will take a shot, possibly getting a kill. There we go. Kill number five. Top Gun is almost certainly his at this point. That T29 is capable of killing him, however, if he is not careful. Oh, my goodness. Seven hit points left. He is very lucky at this point. This is exactly what I mean anytime I say this game is a mixture of luck and skill. That T29 probably furious that he is still alive and but if honestly if that t29 had any sort of guts he would be rushing up due to the fact it is more likely than not he will survive a shot from coleslaw now coleslaw's team is capturing the base at this point so the enemy team has to do something perhaps they are just content with surviving but that t25 is a one shot the panther 2 is not however he should be playing a bit more aggressive coordinating with his team the t29 seeing an opportunity to get another kill on that t25 and he will get it not before taking a hit of his own however and the t29 quickly backing off now that he is 
almost guaranteed a one shot when it comes to the ISU. The enemy team about to lose by capture. The T-29 running over the hill in an attempt to get another kill, but instead giving Coleslaw the top gun. Good on him. Still alive with seven hit points. And the Tiger 2 missing the shot and the match ending to capture. Very well played. I did not think he would survive. When I saw that Tiger 2 coming over those railroad tracks, I thought Coleslaw was certainly dead, but the Tiger 2 apparently hitting the T25 slash 2's dead husk. So the teammates saving Coleslaw even in death. But a very, very well played match. Coleslaw, you are definitely a good player and you are certainly a lucky player. I mean, you can't deny otherwise when you survive with seven hit points. Let's face facts. But now, if any of you were wondering, um, one of you posed the question earlier in one of my ASQs. This is a bit off subject. Now, you want to, I'm not going to go into it. I'll save it for next. I'll save it for an ASQ. Screw it. If you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you got a replay, check the instructions. Yeah, check the instructions. Yeah, there's instructions in the description. Read them, know them, submit. Thanks for watching. This has been Spang, and I am signing off.